The Tale of a Turban Written by Pratima Mitchell and illustrated by Beryl Sanders Sunil's big brother Vijay was getting married. Sunil was going to be the best man. You will look very smart when you put on your wedding clothes, said Sunil's mother. Are you going to put on your special wedding turban? I don't want to wear a stupid pink turban, said Sunil. I want to wear a, my baseball cap. You can't wear a baseball cap, said his mother. You're the best man. You have to wear a pink turban. Sunil's aunts, uncles, cousins and grandparents had all come for the wedding. They were all over the house. Sunil couldn't get away from them. Come and sit on my knee and tell me about your school, said one aunt. Can you find my glasses? asked an uncle. Take the phone over to Granny, ordered his mother. And everyone kept telling Sunil, you will look like a prince with a big pink turban on your head. I really don't want to wear a pink turban, said Sunil. I'm fed up with all these aunts and uncles and cousins. I'll go next door and see my friend Suresh. You don't look ready for the wedding, said Suresh. I'm fed up with the wedding, said Sunil. Why? asked Suresh. You can eat lots of food and you're the best man. You get to ride on a white horse behind your brother. That's okay, said Sunil. What I don't want to do is wear a stupid pink turban. The band was waiting for the wedding to start. They had to march in front of Vijay playing happy tunes. Hey, said the drummer to Sunil. You don't look very happy. Don't you like the bride? Oh, I like Kiran. She's a very nice girl, said Sunil. What I don't like is the stupid pink turban. I want to wear my baseball cap. You're the best man, said the drummer. You have to wear a pink turban. But I don't want to wear a turban, cried Sunil. Would you wear it if it was a magic turban? asked drummer. How could it be magic? said Sunil. Just bring the turban here. And I'll show you, said the drummer. Sunil got the turban and took it to the drummer. The drummer stroked the pink wedding turban with his peacock feather. Say these magic words after me, said the drummer. Jizzle, jazzle, dizzle, dazzle, gully, gully, hully, hully. Sunil said the magic words. Jizzle, jazzle, dizzle, dazzle, gully, gully, hully, bully. No, said the drummer. Jizzle, jazzle, dizzle, dazzle, gully, gully, hully, hully. Gully, gully, hully, hully, repeated Sunil. Now it is a magic turban, said the drummer. Put it on your head. The magic turban will come to your rescue if you are in trouble. Just shout, Gully, gully, hully, hully, and tell it what to do. The wedding party set off for Kiran's house. The band started to play, but they were terrible. What an awful noise, said Vijay. They sound like cats howling on a rooftop, said an uncle. They sound like a herd of angry elephants, said an aunt. Let's see if the magic turban works, said Sunil. Gully, gully, hully, hully, shouted Sunil. Stop the band playing badly. Suddenly, the terrible noise became a tune. What lovely music, said an uncle. What a good band, said an aunt. The uncles and aunts and cousins started to dance along the road 
and everyone laughed and clapped their hands. They went round a corner of the road. In front of them, there were lots and lots of goats. Me, 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 be, 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 went the goats. The goats were blocking the road. I know what to do, said Sunil. Gully, gully, hully, hully, get these goats off the road. Suddenly, a big lorry came along the road. Lots of policemen jumped out of the lorry. They blew their whistles and waved their sticks at the goats. Soon, all the goats were off the road. Everyone started off again for the bride's house. When they got to Kiran's house, the cousins lit some fireworks. The sparklers were lovely, like fountains of silver and blue stars. But then, someone lit a rocket. The rocket went whizzing past the horse. The horse started to gallop down the road. The cousins and aunts screamed. But Vijay and Sunil had left them far behind. Hold tight, Sunil, yelled Vijay. Vijay's turban fell off. Sunil felt his own turban bouncing on his head. Help, cried Sunil. Gully, gully, hully, hully, stop this horse. Sunil's pink turban jumped off his head. It hit the ground and bounced along. Then it came undone. The long piece of cloth tangled itself around the horse's front legs. The horse stopped and stood still. Vijay picked up the turban. The horse wasn't scared anymore. Vijay and Sunil rode back to Kiran's house. The drummer came over to Sunil. What did I tell you? said the drummer. It was magic, wasn't it? Sunil's mother looked at the pink turban. It's dirty and dusty, she said. You can't put this on now. But he must have something on his head, said Sunil's father. What can he put on? Sunil put his hand into his pocket. He pulled out his baseball cap. What about this? said Sunil. Thanks for watching. Write in the comment section below which other books do you want us to read for you. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done yet. Bye.